So it's Tuesday then, which means it's time to talk through everything to do with technology. Sam Sharma, our resident tech expert, is here with me now in the studio. Uh, Sam, good morning to you. First of all, let's start first with the big announcement from Apple. How have we got a new <clears throat> iPhone 6 coming up? Well, let me tell you, um, it's going to be a big event today. It's happening in California, so 10 a.m. their time, 6 p.m. our time. You can watch it live on the Apple website. I might well do that. Yeah. I think I'll be doing that. Yeah. Work. Um, but if you want it to be a surprise, cover your ears now. This is a spoiler warning, I think. It's going to be two new iPhones, different sizes, both yeah. bigger than the existing model. Yeah. This is Apple really playing catch up with companies like Samsung that have had bigger sure. smartphones for years. Sure, yeah. But it's not the size of the thing that, that matters, it's what you can do with it. Yes. I think you'll be able to do uh, lots more. So, for example, you might be able to pay for stuff in shops or maybe even on buses and trains by just tapping the contactless reader with your phone, which I think is really cool. Um, but I think it'd be more than just a phone. Tonight mm. we'll be hearing about uh, maybe an Apple smartwatch. Okay. So I'm pretty excited about that. That's my prediction. If I'm wrong, I will eat my iPhone 5. Good. I'm looking forward to seeing that next week. Um, <laughs> they don't announce it tonight. <laughs> maybe they will. Better be uh, fingers crossed. For me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, next up, Sam, we've got um, uh, the possibly the biggest game of the year yeah. released, uh, today. Maybe of uh, all time. Yes, of all time. Exactly. Destiny. Uh, people queuing overnight to get their hands on it. It yeah. looks amazing. It looks this great. Is great now. Yeah, these people are waiting for the Destiny game. They're Destiny is calling. Yeah, um, exactly. It's the most expensive game ever ever made. Mm. So it cost five hundred million dollars, which is about three hundred and ten million pounds. Yeah. To put that in perspective, that's twice as much money as the film Avatar cost to make. Wow. So blockbuster games like this and games like Halo are really rivaling Hollywood at the moment. In fact, it was made by the makers of Halo. Yeah. Um, and it's as you can see, it's set in space seven hundred yeah. years into the future. And the point of the game is. Uh, humanity has to battle against a mysterious entity called the darkness, which yeah. is not the uh, not the band, not the band, not the, not the group who sang. Uh, I believe in a thing called love. No, no, unfortunately not. Well, I believe in this game, and I think it's going to be a big hit. They're expecting 10 million uh, players on day one. Yeah, uh, it's a mixture of like a first-person shooter and a role-playing game, so yeah. bringing lots of worlds together. Yeah, uh, and it should cost around 45 pounds to 55 pounds, depending on where you buy it from. Sure. Yeah. So are you could be queuing up for this after work. Um, well, yeah. Do you know what? It, it kind of makes me want to get back into gaming again. Yeah. When I was a kid, I was massively into it but this sort of stuff it's so amazing yeah. nowadays I, I just I, you don't realize how good it is until well, if you, you do, see stuff like that coming out it's, it's just incredible it looks it? incredible if you do get back into it you might not ever get out yeah it's, exactly hundreds of hours of gameplay so that's, i might not ever see you again that's the worry yeah you know yeah. i might be missing work because i'm playing on my <laughs> xbox or whatever or playstation um that's not gonna be happening uh, so, next up then we've got the uh, the dyson the new vacuum cleaner um yeah. which is essentially robotically controlled and it's called the 360i uh, this looks pretty impressive, doesn't it? You're a vacuum cleaner fan. Right? I am a big vacuum cleaner fan, a big gaming fan, a big vacuum cleaner fan. We talked about everything I love today. You love <laughs> life. Um, but if you like vacuum cleaners but you don't like vacuum cleaning, this is the one for you. Yeah. Uh, it's a robot cleaner. Uh, it's got a 360 degree camera on top yeah. that scans the room, you can see it doing it there, it yeah. makes a live map of your flat, yeah. so it saves battery by not cleaning the same area twice, and it will even take itself back to its charging dock to uh, to refuel, yeah. so really clever, and of course it's homegrown talent, um, you know, it was developed at the uh, the robotics lab in the Imperial College London, yeah, cool. and we don't know how much it's going to cost, I imagine pretty expensive. Yeah, I'm, I'm back on it being very expensive as but well. But you can't put a price amazing. on never hoovering again, can you? It's very true, very true. Next up then, Sam, we've got um, the augmented reality mirror from Panasonic. Yeah. Again, another amazing thing uh, which uh, you know a few years ago we could never really conceptualize this sort of thing happening. So yeah. what's this all about? So this is so this is a smart mirror and if you ask the smart mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all, it might really reply. So it's uh, <laughs> it, it recognizes and analyzes your face yeah. and it can give you recommendations like it will apply makeup and show in different lighting conditions. Yeah. Um, it will even talk back to you. Yeah. So it might ask you, does my glass look big in this? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's just a prototype at the moment. Um, yeah. It's but it's a glimpse into the future through the looking glass. There we go. So basically, every mirror you look into with that, it's going to make you look good. Is that the the idea? Well, it'll give you recommendations. I can't see a problem with a mirror telling you all your own flaws. Oh well, there you go. Yeah. Make sure you wear bl uh, blusher today or something. Or we're all applying for you. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sam, thank you very much indeed. You're welcome. Uh, good to speak to you this morning.